Hey guys, Stefan from SBA Health and Fitness. Thanks for joining me again for a really quick video. We're gonna talk a bit about breakfast. So guys, breakfast, it does mean break fast. So over tradition, you're going to bed, you're having eight, nine hours of starvation. Okay, sometimes even more. All right, the first thing you wanna do in the morning is to help actually increase your result. Okay, there's all these sort of things about intermittent fasting and all of them work in moderation and there's also some great research behind it, but breakfast does mean one thing and that's break the fast. So if you wanna really increase your metabolism, you're looking to have a nice, wholesome, complete meal with proteins, carbohydrates, and fats and vitamins and minerals with some water in the morning to help you, you know, increase that metabolism, whatever it is to lose weight, gain weight, um, you know, overall wellness and dynamic health. Uh, guys, really quickly, most people will opt to go either a no breakfast or a high carbohydrate breakfast. And we'll talk about how that impacts your blood sugars throughout the day, okay? And how that actually affects your whole day afterwards and why people are sort of struggling that say, oh, I've got a sweet tooth. Or they're struggling to actually maintain or achieve a result they want. Guys, okay, let's start with no breakfast. So if no one has no breakfast, they're generally uh, reaching for a coffee. Okay, they're not eating sometimes to 11, 12 o'clock, most you know, office workers. From that, they're dehydrated. Their body's not actually burning any fuels. They're actually burning protein. So from then, you're actually decreasing your muscle mass. Where you want to be, if you increase your metabolism, um, you want to be burning fat. So guys, over throughout the day, they'll tend to have larger meals, and at night time, they're trying, they, they, they feel a bit more peckish at night. Okay, so that therefore they're eating and eating, eating at night time, and then they're not hungry again in the morning, and they're searching for that caffeine hit to give them the energy that they want. So guys, it's really important that if you are gonna have a coffee and there's nothing wrong with it, you, that you wanna be having food, you wanna be breaking the fast, especially there, and your blood sugars do drop straight away in the day starts, so it's not actually healthy for you. Uh, and the other option is that people go for is a high carbohydrate breakfast. People talk about I eat only organic foods or I'm very, I'm very healthy. And they're sort of having the high in sugar yogurts, whether they're natural or not, you're putting fruit in there, yeah, they might put some almonds or something like that in there, that's great. But overall, what they're doing is spiking their insulin levels, they're spiking their blood sugars. And what you'll find is most people, when they actually, even before they leave their house in the morning, is they're actually hungry again and it'll drop down dramatically. And from that, then they're looking for a piece of fruit in mid time, okay? They're looking for the three o'clock um, uh, candy bar, whatever it is, they're looking for that coffee to drive them throughout the day. And these are the guys at night time that are really peckish after dinner because they're spiked, they haven't gone to bed yet, and then they're looking for that food. So guys, if you are eating like that, think about how you can actually balance out your meal. A great one is protein. If you're adding protein to high carbohydrate, high carbohydrate meals, you can actually um, slowly sustain the carbohydrates longer throughout the day than getting those big high spikes. Guys, what I opt for my breakfast is a Herbalife Health Shake. Guys, it ain't a protein shake, it's got your vitamin and mineral daily intake. It's got all your recommended fats, carbohydrates, and protein in there. I have two of these a day, but definitely I have one for breakfast. I mix it with water and ice. According to my goals, when I lose weight, you want to gain a bit more muscle, I add it with a bit of soy milk, but it's the best way to get yourself a nice, healthy, active, um, and feeling the best you can, as long as you can. So guys, that's all I'm going to talk a bit about today. That's the shake for you, and uh, peace out.